AgSafe Alberta is the health and safety association for farmers and ranchers across the province. We are here to help make your farmer ranch a safer place to live and work. Farmers care is about life-saving opportunities. When we take a second or 11 to pause and think about what might hurt us on the farm, we will make efforts to perform that task more safely. These letters represent common hazards on the farm and serve as helpful reminders. In this video, we look at energy isolation. Some hazards to consider when thinking about energy isolation are not de-energizing or locking out circuits or systems before performing repairs or maintenance, making adjustments or repairs to tools or machines without disengaging the power, not blocking all raised or moving parts before working on or under them, not relieving pressure from hydraulic or pneumatic lines before starting work, leaving the tractor forks or bucket raised after use, another person starting the grain auger on a bin while someone is inside cleaning. When practicing energy isolation, remember these do's. De-energize, lock out, and tag out all energy sources yourself. Ensure each person working on the system applies their own personal lock and tag. Test controls to verify that they are inoperative or de-energized. Block equipment and machinery against motion after it has been locked out. Replace all guards before returning the equipment to service. Ensure everyone is in a safe location before re-energizing any equipment. When it comes to energy isolation, do not. Pull fuses as a substitute for lockout, tagout. Fail to lock out the main power source in a circuit or system. Remove the guards for any reason until the machine is de-energized and locked out. Perform maintenance or work on moving or energized machines. Remove someone else's lock or tag. Perform work on an electrical circuit before testing it to confirm that there is no residual energy. Assume that a circuit breaker will not be switched on by someone else. Leave keys and locks, loan or share your lock or key with another person. Remember these energy isolation tips. Notify everyone who is affected when lockout is required on a piece of equipment or a machine and tell them why. Shut down the machine or equipment and release stored energy following your farm's procedure for that specific unit. Use an energy isolating device to disconnect or isolate energy sources. Lock out and tag out the energy isolating device with your own lock, even if someone locked the control before you. Unless you put your own lock on, you will not be protected. Perform a check on the disconnected energy sources to make certain that the equipment will not operate. Verify that there is no energy. Before removing lockout or tagout devices, ensure that non-essential items have been removed and that the components are ready for operation. Before starting work, ask yourself, what could happen that would injure or kill me? Am I familiar with the farm's energy isolation procedures and the procedures for this particular task? Have I identified and locked out all of the potential sources of energy? Have I verified zero energy? For more information and tools related to this and other topics from Farmers Care, visit take11.ca.